I'm just making this video to tell you about what's going to happen this afternoon. Uh, me and my associate are going up to the mosque in, uh, in Brisbane, unusually, and we're going to meet with Mr. Ali Cardri. So our plan is we're going to go in there and talk to Mr. Cardri. Um, we're going to talk to him about the, um, some of the verses in the Quran, um, which we could think might be uh, inspiring Muslims to, uh, to take um, violent actions, such as uh, the famous verse of the sword, um, Surah 9, chapter uh, verse 5, and which says, But when the forbidden months are past, then fight and slay the pagans wherever ye find them, and seize them, beleaguer them, and lie in wait for them with every stratagem of war. But if they repent and establish regular prayers and practice regular charity, then open the way for them, for God is oft forgiving and most merciful. Um, so we want to see if he will agree that these uh, verses are provoking Muslims to carry out these um, violent uh, uh, actions. Now, if he denies it and says that the, um, that these uh, verses are not relevant to today, we have a, a declaration for him to sign, which is the Declaration of Peaceful Intent. The renunciation of Quran's violent commands is not applicable for today. And he says, I, Ali Qadri, of, in his address, understand that there are commands in the Quran which compel Muslims to kill, behead, crucify, or commit unprovoked violence against non-Muslims, Jews, Christians, atheists, or apostates from Islam. I fully, completely, unequivocally, 100% reject and refuse to believe, practice or teach any of these commands. I believe that these commands from Allah are not applicable, not relevant and should not be practiced in any form in today's world by anyone. And signed, witness and date. Um, we'll be very interested to see whether Mr. Cardi will sign this document. If he won't, then it tells us that he believes that these commands are actually relevant for today and that Muslims should be following them. Um, if, this, if this is the case, um, then we intend to use this document to talk to other Muslims and see whether they'd be prepared to sign this document. Um, when we have things like people are building a mosque in an area, um, we'd like, we think that they should sign this document to say that they don't believe that these commands should be, um, sh should be uh, practiced today. And obviously if people um, don't see that they want to sign this document, then there'll be um, more of a reason for them not to uh, approve the mosque to go ahead. So um, it'll be interesting to see, and uh, we'll we'll be hopefully we'll be filming this from within the mosque itself. So the next part of this video, hopefully, will be from uh, us in the mosque talking to Mr. Cardri. So wish me luck. The program is that we have a declaration here of peaceful intent, okay, yeah. Yeah. which is a renunciation of the, the violent commands in the Quran because Muslims always tell us that this has to do... That's like the Bible, how it's interpreted. That's right. Exactly. Exactly. So Thank you. We can agree on that. Okay. The in the Bible, yeah. th there are um, violent verses. In the Quran, there are yeah. violent verses. We all know that. Yeah. Okay? So we, we admit that the, the Christians, they're not relevant for today. Okay. Right. The, 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 those yeah. verses are not relevant for today. And um, we believe that the Quranic verses are not relevant for Today. Yeah. So we have a declaration here to say that um, for someone to sign and say that I understand there are commands in the Quran which compel Muslims to kill, behead, crucify or commit unprovoked violence against non-Muslims, Jews, Christians, atheists or apostates from Islam. I fully, completely, unequivocally, 100% reject and refuse to believe, practice or teach any of these commands. I believe that these commands from Allah are not applicable, not relevant and should not be practiced in any form in today's world by anyone. Um, assigned and witnessed and dated. Now, we would like members of the, the Islamic community to sign this just to say that they don't believe that those commands okay, so you are do relevant. And that would give the commu our community 
a lot of yeah. confidence that, that this is that yeah. the, the Islamic community don't But you do realise a lot of the radicalisation is not actually from the missiles or the mosques. The radicalisation is online, the children that are at home. Um, yeah, I, 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 I think so. So I'm, I'm hoping that Mr. Mr. Kadri would be happy to sign this. What, um, are you asking me to renounce Quran? Is that what you're asking me? I'm asking you to renounce the, the violence. Are you asking me Quran? to declare that I don't believe in my faith? Because you have obviously misinterpreted Quran and like the terrorists have, Why? Muslim mis terrorists what's have. Mis that's, that's the verses. Please, I, I will go through with the verses once. I mean, they so, have... So they you would, you tell me this. them? No, let, me, let me tell you this. Because they thought there's some constructive I thought program. it was going to be a program okay, so, that we work together. Now, I am happy all day long to sit down yeah. with you here and understand Quran and explain with the verses of the Quran one after another. I'm not an Islamic scholar, but I've said with enough scholars and listened to enough scholars who have actually written a, a letter and it's called letter to Baghdadi.com where they have broken down the arguments against ISIS. Mm -hmm. Because ISIS uses the religious arguments where they well, misinterpret. He has a PhD in, in Islamic He doesn't. Studies. He doesn't. Where from? Which, 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 I, I known, go to school with him. which known university of Islamic studies? has given the PhD to Abu Bakr al Baghdadi. Nobody even I would not know that. Absolutely. So yeah. I'm telling you as a Muslim, no well-known Muslim scholarship has given him PhD. And I know this because all the leaders or the, or the chancellors, as you call them, of the Muslim university have declared that this kind of person has never studied with us. Okay? Mm -hmm. So let's take the PhD argument away. They have refuted him time and time again. They refuted his argument time and time again, so much so that Muslims have given blood to defeat him. Now, you're asking me, to, Excuse me for okay. one second. Right. You're asking me to interpret the, or, or to sign the declaration because mm -hmm. your understanding of certain verses in the Quran is violent and relevant to today's world. I believe that those verses are not violent and relevant. Now I'll tell you why it will be counterproductive. So you can sign this. I'll, I'll, tell you why it's, I'll tell you why it's counterproductive. Now that's, this is from human to human. We can't we can talk about it as human to human. I believe that there are some Muslims who are so sick in the head that they can't interpret Quran as it's supposed to be interpreted. They don't follow Islam as it's supposed to be followed. They've been brainwashed, yes, and they've been misused. Now, their argument is... By who? By the people who want to politically misuse them. Who are? By who? Tell me this. Tell me this. In 1980, Ronald Reagan, champion of conservatism in the world, mm. called the Afghan Mujahideen and compared them mm -hmm. to the... Today, Islam is a Now, it's up to Muslims and the rest of the world to come together and reject these people. Now, when you're asking me to reject my religion and walk away from it because some of the idiots have misused it and are committing terrorism, then you are actually empowering them. You are telling them that they are Muslims and I'm not. That's what I hear all the time. No, no. When I go and argue with people, I say, look, no, not at all. I'm asking you to sign the thing to say you renounce the violent verses in the Quran and say that they're not relevant but, but, for today. But, but that's but, all I'm asking. But Harry, Harry. So you're saying that these verses are, are relevant. I can interpret those verses for you and debate them. I can explain you what those verses mean. I can. I have listened to your lectures. I haven't got a chance to read to your book, mm -hmm. read your book yet. But I will read your book, and I can. I can tell you. I can tell you, Harry. All with all honesty. I don't. I'm not trying to ridicule your fear. I think your fear is I don't, I don't have a fear. I wouldn't okay. be... I mean, oh, or concern. Or concern. Uh, yeah. I am not trying to ridicule your concern. I think your concern is genuine. I don't think you're a bigot. I don't think you're a racist. I don't think you hate Muslims. Okay. Okay. I think you're genuinely concerned, and I believe the same about Rod. You're genuinely concerned that you don't want to see community divide. Mm. And I want you to know that, believe me, that's the exact same thing I want. Okay. Now, I believe that your understanding of the problem is either immature or is it comes from a point of bias or lack of knowledge or lack of information. Okay. Until and unless we sit down and talk about those issues, about those things, one on one with an open heart and open mind, we won't be able to resolve this. Okay? In the meanwhile, in the meanwhile, let me tell you, the people who took over Raqqa yesterday, or day before yesterday, which was the capital of Islamic State in Syria, they went in Raqqa chanting Allah Akbar. God is great, mm -hmm. defeating ISIS. Mm -hmm. They're Muslims, yeah. right? They're Muslims. Muslims killing Muslims is nothing new. So, so no, 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 no. you are blaming Islam, mm -hmm. you're blaming Islam for what ISIS has done. But why don't you give credit to Islam for the people, overwhelming majority of whom are Muslims, for defeating ISIS? 
a Christian, a Muslim, Muslim, Muslims you're talking about, Christians have killed Christians over the centuries, Hindus have killed Christians, Hindus over the centuries, Jews have killed Jews over the centuries. People are not perfect. Absolutely. You know so I'm not here to defend Muslims. I'm not here to defend Muslims. I can't. I, I, I agree no, with I, I'm not, I'm not here to, I'm not here to attack Muslims. I'm not here to attack Muslims. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about Islam. There's parts of Islam which are very, um, which on a, a, a straightforward reading of an ordinary person would read these verses and say, oh my God, that means that if I want to be a Muslim, I have to go out. The, 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 they believe that the Quran, do you believe that the Quran is a literal word of God? Yes, I mean. Well, then the literal word of God has got some something that's been interpreted. I mean, it's very interpreted. difficult. It's that, very that's difficult. what you said. It would be very difficult not to interpret you know, uh, when the forbidden months are passed, then fight and slay the pagans wherever you find them. I mean, how do you misinterpret that? And if Allah is, is all knowing, as we as you would believe, yes. then to, to put down a book with these words in there and expect that people are not going to misinterpret them would be a bit strange. Now, with open mind. The verse of the sword is now well, in the Open, open mind and open heart. Yeah, I have an open mind and open heart. And he's saying when the holy months passed, kill every non believer so we find mm. them, right? The verse which is straight after that, mm. what does it talk about? Do you have that verse? Uh, I don't have it handy to me, and I'm not someone that can so, talk. So, do, you have a, do you have a Quran here? I can, I have a Quran. I, I, I have 20 Qurans in here. No, that's, no, no, that's no, not that's, 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 that's a different story. But, 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 no, no, no. no. But let, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Now, Quran and the stories of the Quran and the verses of the Quran are sent in a context. There was a context. No, there is, there is no context. In you think you are, you think you know Quran better than I do? Oh well, I don't know how well you can know the Quran, but okay. I, I'm, I, I'm absolutely I'm sure. I was born and bred Muslim. Mm -hmm. I am a spokesperson of the Muslim yeah. community. I hang around with the Imam. Yeah. Trust me, you, I know you Quran. You know the Quran very well. Absolutely. Yeah. Sure. So I understand the interpretations of the Quran very well as well. Mm -hmm. So this verse is in a context, and the context of that verse was that there was a treaty between Muslims and non-Muslims. Mackins. Which one? The, the Mackins, the, the, the Mac 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 for the bigger. Uh, Mackins. Uh, not uh, the uh, not uh, the, And that, that treaty was broken, and the Muslims well, and, and the Muslims it were ordered by allies, allies of the Mackins. But anyway, uh, yeah. anyhow, it was yeah. broken, and then Muslims were ordered to fight after this. But they were told. But they were told straight after this word, if they seek peace, escort them into the place of safety, so nobody else kills them. No, so in they, the battle, if they repent and establish re regular place. Uh, in other words, if they convert to be Muslim, so kill them so, unless they convert so, so to be let's Muslim. So let's go back into the history. You know the Battle of Badr, yeah? You yes. talk about it. Yeah. There were captives in the Battle of Badr who were Muslims, right? Yeah. What happened to them? Well, uh, some of most of them were they were, um, <coughs> they were ransomed for money. Okay. And those who can't pay the ransom, what happened to them? Uh, I couldn't give you the details of that. So Prophet said to them, if anybody of any one of you can teach one Muslim how to read and write, we'll let you go. Okay. And they will let go. Which is a ransom, right? Read and write is a ransom? You are asking well, prisoners of war to teach a craft to your people and you call it a ransom? Well, you're asking for service. What? Teaching, re teaching yeah, how it's, to it's read? It's a nice service. No, I mean, it's, I'm it's, sure I'll take, take the deal. Okay. I'm not saying that. It's, it's, it's a good thing to do, right? So he let them go. When Prophet entered Mecca, the people who persecuted him for what? What, 13 years? What did he do? Well, he killed some of them. Who were what did he do with the overwhelming majority of them? gives them their wealth and says, go back to Europe. Okay, look, now, what I'm trying to tell you is, so how do you be Prophet Muhammad, me, we understand the Quran mm -hmm. better than ISIS do and better than you do. Uh, and that yeah. is what I'm trying to tell you. So what when I'm you, saying is, when you, when do, you, do you believe that these verses are relevant today? These verses are out of context. They are in a time and a place. Okay, so they're, they're not relevant today. They are in a time of place, and they're not relevant for Australia, no. Right, so you wouldn't mind signing that, because it says that you believe that these verses are not, uh, these commands from Allah are not applicable, not relevant, and should not be practiced in any form or in today's world by anyone. And no one should murder the unbelievers today. Absolutely, nobody yeah. should, nobody should. But, you but again, again, Harry, 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 yeah. Harry. You, are, you, you are asking me, anyway, yeah. do, do you think that declaration, or whatever you read, yeah. I haven't read it, that declaration and me reading this and me signing it will solve the problem of terrorism. Well, we can show this to people who are radicalized and say that a leader, the leading light in the Muslim community who understands Quran so well and is also connected to all the, the major people in your community, you have, the, you have the access to all the scholars okay. and you can tell them that these verses are not relevant for today. Okay. And when we can show it to those people that Ali Qadri has signed this, then we can show them and say, look, you are going, you're barking up the wrong tree. Okay. ISIS is wrong. Let, 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 me, let me now explain. These people who you're going to show and hope that they will become de-radicalized, mm. 
they have killed more Muslims because they believe that we are not good Muslims because we don't agree with their interpretation and their understanding. Their interpretation of this verse mm -hmm. is very different to ours, majority of the Muslims, and it's wrong. So when you go and show this to a radical person, it says, oh, Ali Qadri says this, their response to you would be that he's a sellout or he's not a Muslim and he's, he's, he should be killed or burned alive like they burned the Jordanian body. Right? That's not going to solve radicalization. Look, we, we uh, sorry to interrupt, but we do a lot of uh, de-radicalization work. We do a lot of work in countering alienation and so on and so forth. It's just, I believe that uh, a lot of people in the wider community, with all due respect to some of your members as well, I don't think they understand the problem. They tend to misunderstand the problem where it's stemming from. So to address it uh, first, you need to understand it, like any other problem. So uh, that is why we don't, we didn't sort of look into it back then. Till we can come up to a sort of an agreement on where the problem is mainly coming from and why is this problem occurring, uh, it would be very hard to sort of address it jointly. But outside that, we're doing a lot of work in the community uh, and within the jails. And since we've last spoken, we now have a very active jail program, chaplaincy program. I'll touch on that. That's a, that's a sore point for us as well. <laughs> I am happy all day long to sit down with you here and understand Quran and explain you the verses of the Quran one after another. I'm not an Islamic scholar, but I've sat with enough scholars and listened to enough scholars who have actually written a, a letter, and it's called letter to Baghdadi.com, where they have broken down the arguments against ISIS. Mm -hmm. Because ISIS uses religious arguments where they well, misinterpret. He has a PhD in, in Islamic studies. He doesn't. He doesn't. Where from?